Welcome back to Fable the Lost Chapters. I actually forgot to buy and sell those emeralds, so I'm just going to do it now, just because that way you guys can see what you have to do in order to get money. And I'm just going to do this a few times until I get back up, whoops, to a little bit more of a safe area with money. Because right now I'm actually getting around 5,000 gold each time I sell these emeralds and buy them back, which is freaking incredible, by the way. Uh, you can actually save up so many items that you get a crap load more than that, and 5,000 is like nothing compared to what you can actually save up items for and eventually get. So I'm back up to 30,000. Let's go ahead and go for 50,000. 50,000 while actually owning the emeralds, not while not owning, otherwise kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. We want to own emeralds. Otherwise, you have to find a bunch of more emeralds later. So I have to do this like two more times or something. Uh, okay, there we go. Sell. And buy. One more time. And sell. And buy. Imagine doing this for... I don't know, an hour or something just to get a crap load of money. Money is simple, but in some small areas it can be kind of helpful, I think, because there's some stuff you'll have to want to buy later on. Well, you don't have to buy it, but you'll want to later, I mean. I think I saw an enemy. Yeah, there's a few enemies off to the left. What do you have? Clothing? Anything good? Oh, bright chain. Or bright plate, I mean. That's awesome. I didn't know they were actually going to sell that bright plate. I'm getting bright plate because I'm supposed to be a good dude. Okay, that's all. Melee anything? Master crossbow. Nice. I think master crossbow is the best crossbow you can actually buy. Master pick. And master pick hammer. Or no, pick a great hammer. I mean, not pick hammer. Jeez. I can't afford... Well, I... No, I can't actually, huh? I guess I just spent a crap load of money. Let me go ahead and sell some stuff. Head, no, not head. Torso, uh, plate gauntlets, because I'm going to swap them. They have the exact same defense. And regular plate. There we go. And let's go ahead real quick. Inventory. That took a sec to load because I have so many items. And yeah, sometimes, like, if you have a crap load of items, it's going to probably take a bit longer for stuff to load for you. And you'll just want to be careful of that. Uh, I just did hands. Okay, so torso. There we go. And then the dark one is darker. But each one neutral is neutral. I think it's sort of evil rating or something. I don't remember. And the dark one is like really evil rated. And the bright one is really good rated. So it just gives outlook people have on you enemy over there I'm gonna kill real quick just because I can I uh, just beetles they're stronger beetles than the ones that started to get oh uh, maybe they're not yet the exact same ones uh, okay oh well I got some renown and stuff so that's cool no big deal let's run all over here all the way up there and finally protect orchard farm orchard farm I can never imitate that thing. Also, I think I fucked up my outro a crap lot of times. I keep screwing up. It's like, I forget what I'm supposed to say. Then I say something else that I'm supposed to say after I say the thing that I always forget what I'm supposed to say. And it's like, holy crap, are you serious? How did you forget that? And how did you screw this up? What is up with your outro? It sucks. <laughs> and, oh man, it really, I don't know. I just, I have a crappy memory. And this is an unimportant cutscene, so I'm going to skip that. I don't really care. I'm only going to stick with important cutscenes, because it's all that's really needed. Oh, wrong way. There's over there. There we go. Ow. There we oh, dude, I cut a guy's head. Oh, his head did stay in the air after I cut it. That was awesome. Pretty cool. Also, the cool thing about a sword that you can't do with axes 
is when an enemy is on the ground, knocked out or something, you can stab them for the final kill. But if you have an axe or a hammer, you have to kick them repeatedly. So it kind of sucks if you have an axe or hammer and you happen to knock them out because it's a lot more time consuming to kill them. Eventually this will be able to get faster too and you'll be able to practically just hold the damn uh, button on your mouse down or whatever you use to attack with. This does not support Xbox 360 controller. If you want to use an Xbox 360 controller on this game, you have to actually use Joy to Key and map uh, keyboard and mouse controls to your Xbox 360 controller with that program. And the reason it doesn't support it is because it's a regular Xbox game and it's on Steam. And I think the idea of using controllers on a computer game is probably more recent than it was back in the past when a regular Xbox and PS2 and stuff was out. I'm not sure though. I could be wrong because I wasn't actually doing a whole crap load of PC gaming or anything then. I was using consoles still, but I don't know, but I think that's how it was. And it's probably why it has no controller support. That or it was just a lazy port. I don't know. I hope you've learned how to flourish. This is a fight. I got a fight. Yay, fight. You don't have to die against her. You just do regular fight stuff. It's pretty much the same thing. You don't kill her and you don't die. The person who gets hit the most, it takes a certain amount of damage, is the one that ends up losing. Yeah, let's just shock her with lightning because she's stuck over there. And I need, uh, get magic points experience. Not only that, but this is also helping my multiplier. That way I can go up and do this. And get some combat experience. There we go, I beat her without getting hit. That's freaking awesome. I suppose this quest is yours. It's weird how this game handles audio. It should be fine in the video. I'm not sure I haven't edited it yet, but it's still very strange how it handles the audio. It's like it gets confused. Or something, so some audio is in the rear where it shouldn't be. Like he's, I think, I think it's reversing the rear channel. So I'll have to, I'll have to try reversing those when I'm editing the video because it's supposed to be on the right, but for me he's on the left for the audio, which is really strange. But I don't know if it's a simple fix. I hope it's just the rear audio that's doing that and not the front audio. And I hope the front audio is correct and the rear audio is always reversed or something. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to actually do some testing with that and figure out. Well, that would be interesting. I'll probably be doing that tomorrow for me or the day after. And you can actually dig under this light post and get something. Uh, I think I don't know. it might be behind right here. I don't remember where. Somewhere digging right around here but you don't want to do that you want to wait until later because if you, like after you get all the clues for it actually uh if you don't get all the clues then the thing you dig up is just complete garbage even though it's garbage anyway but if you do wait until you get all those clues then there's going to actually be some enchantments on the thing and it's just a frying pan and those enchantments it holds more enchantments than any other weapon in the entire game even though the weapon's strength sucks. But some people still use it. Oh, crap. There we go. Had to turn on my light. Crap, enemies. Oh, yeah, hey, you shot me in the friggin' back, you prick. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ouch. Did I just see a wasp? Oh, I did. Holy crap. Damn. Haha, <laughs> that's so dumb. Okay, he's dead. Next up. Just until I run out of magic. Let's go ahead and eat some apples. Apples are easy for healing, and they're super cheap and easy to come by, so I use them all the time. Plus, they don't make your character fat. And I don't think they give any alignment. Some food, like the Crunchy Check, will give evil alignment. And I don't think there's any that give good align- Oh, unless Tofu does. I don't remember. I know I, there's probably at least one item that gives good alignment if you eat it. But I'm not sure. I can't remember. Haha, -ha, jerk. You're stupid. 
Let's go kill those other guys I'll see on the mini-map, really very tiny. They're like a dot, they're practically a single pixel, oh, they're just wasps, okay. They're like so small on the mini-map, they're like a pixel or something in size, one pixel. And I'm still saying like a lot, but I don't know why. I think I've reduced a little bit, but it's probably going to take me a bit longer. It just annoys the hell out of me now. I don't know why, I just start hearing it, it's like, oh, are you kidding me, I'm saying it that many times? Like, 50 foot, well, maybe not 50, that's an exaggeration, but, like, 20 times in a freaking video, Joe, it's not right. And those guys are blabbing about a mushroom in the guild, and I will get that later. I could get it now, but I have no need to get it now, because I can't get all the mushrooms. And this guy sells hero titles. Let me see what he has. Because i got enough money I can waste on a title. Let's see. I don't know why some are more expensive than others, so. So, let's see. What sounds like a good one? I usually get assassin, but I'm also usually evil. I guess I could get avatar. The avatar's good guy on the show. Yeah, I think I'll do that. It's also the most expensive here. Different... Err, uh, yeah, different titles get unlocked depending on your progress in the story and where you look to buy them. And I think I have to go, oh wait. Yeah, I don't know. I probably have to go to Bowerstone or something. Strength! Physique! Actually, uh, will... Surround spell? I want slow time. Slow time will be helpful because slow time you can move. Shut up, guy! You're speaking over me. <laughs> slow time you can move normal speed while everyone else moves um, different. And magic power just because I got slow time. And let's get one more because I kind of need magic power and skill. I can apparently get something. Skill. Let's go ahead. That's gonna take 8,700. So I'm not gonna. Go ahead, like bother. I'll just go ahead and do this. Accuracy. Oh, uh, whoops. And, and I can get Guile. There we go. And let's go ahead and see. Okay, it's right clicks. So let's see. Slow time. Everyone actually moves slower while you move normal. And the higher level this gets, the more slowly they move. To a point where they're practically standing still. This will help in my next quest, I think. Is it my next quest? No, it's... Oh, wait, yeah, top killing cost test. I am actually going to go with the trader escort, though. I'm not going to do this one just yet. I am doing this one first. And Hob Cave, I have to be more famous. So let's just do the trader escort. Uh, yeah, trader escort. I think that's what it is. I forgot already. Somebody has an escort, it sounded weird to me in my head. It's like, what is this word that you are saying, sir? Protect traitors. Let's do that, because I'm not doing without a scratch, because there's going to be Balverines, I think. I don't remember. Let me move already. Stop boasting, stupid. And if you don't do all the boasts or something, it's like they boo you after a while. Oh, yeah, I don't, want, I don't care about you. You're not the guy I'm looking for. I thought you were a traitor. Yeah, this guy, he'll return here constantly. I almost said like, and I thought myself that was kind of cool. But yeah, that guy will return there. You speak to him. He's like, I'll wait for you. And if you want to take me somewhere, I'll let you. But you don't have to. It's useless. And I forgot this part was over. So that is the end of this part. Uh, if you liked it, comment, like, subscribe, and share. I uh, thank you for watching. And on the next part, I'll be doing the Trader Escort. But until then, I will see you guys later. Bye.